Liza, Mike, you two look like you're ready to go take in an IU basketball game. We sure are, Pastor. Today is the senior day at Bloomington IU, and uh, the basketball team plays Rutgers. Senior day, huh? Well, you two seniors look like you'd fit right in. We sure will, Pastor. I love IU basketball. And you know what I love most? What do you love the most about IU basketball? Teamwork. Those young men have got to work together as a team to succeed on that court. Right you are, Martha. And you know that reminds me of the time when you and my mom, Helen Mommer, got together not too long ago and you challenged the congregation here to work together as a team. Pastor, that was a little bit before your time. Pastor Vern was here. Do you remember that? Of course I do, Mike. Your mom, Helen, and I tried to fix that boiler all by ourselves. <laughs> they didn't do well. We really made a mess of things. Oh, my. <laughs> I, uh, I have heard about this. Uh, you didn't have the money to pay off the boiler loan, so Helen and you tried to work on it on your own. In fact, we even have a picture here of the two of you in your work clothes. Ooh. Look at that. Working, ready to go to work on the boiler. That's right, Pastor. I lost my license, so we had to stop. If it hadn't been for the congregation coming together, as a team, even lending a hand, we never would have been able to done what we did. And what did you do? Well, guess what? We paid off the boiler debt, all $237,000 of it. And it took about four and a half years, and it was ended in May of 2016. That brings you back to teamwork, doesn't it, Martha? That's right, Pastor. We have a new challenge. The challenge that will keep us all working together as a team. You know what? This time, it involves the Opportunity Building. And that's the building over here on Broadway and Washington. That building has set dormant for many years. St. John's is now going to make that building come alive. And we have an opportunity God was giving us to transform it into a coffee house. Primarily for the West Central community. So we have a special outreach involved. Plus, we also have two apartments upstairs would be rent income. And now we have a new loan that we want to see get paid. Hmm. Even though the rental income from the coffee house and the apartments will be enough to cover the monthly loan payments? Right. We want to make extra payments, principal payments, this time, so we can reduce the amount of interest. The more extra principal we pay up front, the more money we have free and available for actual ministry here at St. John's and ministry and mission in our neighborhood. So that's the real reason you two are all decked out in your crimson and cream today? Right. Calling the team together, huh? Today is the groundbreaking new news. We are now establishing here at St. John's the M and M's, and that stands for Martha and Mike's Opportunity Fund. We are trying to raise money so we can have more money for M and M missions and ministry here at St. John's. Well, I heard mission and ministry, and I heard Martha and Mike, but I also heard a fifth M there: money and. Money's kind of a sacred cow Ooh. around uh, St. John and pretty much any church. Well, we're asking for their money. Anything they can give. You know, it may have our names on it, Mike and Martha, but it's a team effort. Every member's gift here at St. John's matters. Every member's gift? Even a Purdue fan's gift? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Even a Lafayette film.